This is question 23 on the foundation calculator paper. Okay, the question says A, B, and C are three service stations on a motorway. So there's A, B, and C. A, B is 25 miles, and that's shown on the diagram there. B, C is 25 miles, so that's also shown on the diagram. Aisha drives along the motorway from A to C, so she drives all the way across from A to C. Aisha drives at an average speed of 50 miles per hour from A to B. She drives at an average speed of 60 miles per hour from B to C. Work out the difference in the time Aisha takes to drive from A to B and the time Aisha takes to drive from B to C. Give your answer in minutes. This spot here, I need to make sure I'm aware of that and I'll make sure I give my answer in minutes. So, looking at the information given, I know that it's 25 miles from A to B, but I also know that she drives at an average speed of 50 miles per hour from A to B. So I'm writing that over there. And she drives at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. from B to C. Now, I know this question is involving speed and I need to use the speed distance time equation. Now that equation, you need to remember it, but if you have forgotten it, you could use the units of speed to help you with this. Speed is miles per hour. That means it's miles out of hours or miles over hours. And that means speed is miles, which is a distance, over time. Hours, which is a time. So that's one way you could remember the speed, distance, time equation. However, from your science, you should know the triangle with speed, distance, time. And if not, you need to remember this. Speed is distance over time. It's arranged in that way, and that could help you work out problems where you have to work out any of those three, distance, speed, or time, by covering up. So if you wanted to work out speed, you cover up S, and that means distance over time, distance divided by time. If you wanted to work out distance, you cover up the D, and that's speed multiplied by, times, uh, by time. So in this particular question, they said work out the difference in the time Aisha takes to drive from A to B and the time Aisha takes to drive from B to C. So I'm going to work out each of these. So the time from A to B. Now if I want to work out time, I have to cover up the T. So time is distance divided by speed. And the distance from A to B is 25 miles and the speed that she travels at was 50 miles per hour. I'm going to work that out in a bit, but let's do this for the time from B to C. So from B to C, the distance was the same, 25 miles, and the speed was 60 miles per hour. So let's work out each of these. I'm going to use the calculator for this. So get your calculator. And I need to work out 25 divided by 50, 25 divided by 50, and that's 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And because the speed is in miles per hour, that's 0 0.5 hours. Okay. And then the, the next one, 25 divided by 60, that's 0 0.166666. So I'll leave that there, 0 0.4166, and carry on, that's hours. Okay, now, this brings me to the last bit of the question where it says, give your answer in minutes. So I'm going to convert each of these into minutes. Now this one is fairly straightforward, 0 0.5 hours, that's half an hour, that's 30 minutes. Okay, and the next one, I need to change that into minutes. 
and to change hours into minutes you need to times by 60. So I'm going to times that previous answer by 60 and I get 25. So that means that that's 25 minutes. So to work out the difference in the times It's going to be 30, take away 25, and that's 5 minutes. And that's what I'm going to write in the answer space down at the bottom, 5 minutes. So, this question, when you look at it, it is pretty straightforward. However, there are a couple of things that you need to remember. You need to remember the, the speed distance time equation, and you need to make sure you remember this triangle here. And one of the things I should have put here both of these to turn hours into minutes you need to times by 60 times in by 60 to turn hours into minutes okay make sure you review this a couple of times and you understand it completely and you're able to do it yourself